The following is a production of the College of Arts and Sciences at Eastern Kentucky University and has been made possible through an EBSCOR grant from the National Science Foundation. There exists a dichotomy when it comes to women and cardiovascular disease. On one hand, women are less likely to develop cardiovascular disease. On the other hand, women who get cardiovascular disease have worse outcomes than males that are of the same age. My name is Dr. Rebecca Weichel. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Biological Sciences. We're interested in cardiovascular disease. Specifically, we're interested in differences between males and females in the development of cardiovascular disease, looking on the molecular and biochemical level. Our overall goal is to improve care and treatment for women with cardiovascular disease. Cardiovascular disease encompasses several different diseases that you might be familiar with, such as a heart attack, um, enlarged heart, which can lead to heart failure. It can also include stroke, blood clots that form in the vessels that prevent your blood from flowing properly. It's very important for us to define male-female differences when it comes to cardiovascular disease. So we know that women are protected from getting cardiovascular disease, at least those women that are premenopausal. Establishing these differences will help us in both the treatment and diagnosis of both males and females. So as a biomedical researcher, we do a whole range of different types of experiments in the laboratory. Some of these experiments involve computer modeling and analysis of computer data. We're able to look through the microscope and look for changes in the cell structure and the cell size. We're also able to take the macromolecules out of the cells. These include the RNA, the DNA, and the protein, and do analysis on those macromolecules to see if there are changes that happen in these cells. It's more likely that women with cardiovascular disease will be missed in the early stages of their disease progression and therefore many of these drugs are not being tried on these women. Students are involved in all aspects of my research so that would include actually doing the hands-on work in the laboratory, doing the experiments themselves. Students are also involved in writing up journal articles about the research that we're doing. Many of my students are either interested in going into medicine or into biomedical research careers. And so these are things that students are going to be doing in the future. So students need to have a good handle on what basic science means if they're going to be physicians in a hospital. One of the greatest obstacles that I face is that many think that biomedical education and biomedical research needs to happen at a medical school and not a regional institution like EKU. It's important for people to know about cardiovascular research and know the importance of funding this research so that we can come up with better diagnostic and treatment for folks with cardiovascular disease.